Hey, uh, everybody there. Uh, just want to do another little fencing video. We got some fence going. I know I've showed them before. But uh, sometimes people don't go all the way back and see any of those from a year or so ago. So uh, this is my favorite kind of fence. You've got a, this has got a really good barbed wire fence. So it doesn't have to be that good. Uh, it can be anything old, dilapidated wire. You can go back and look at my, some of them older videos that uh, show you some old fence. It's probably 75 years old, barbed wire behind it. It wouldn't hold a cow, but you put this electric wire in front of it and it'll hold a goat. And so what we've done here, we had a fiberglass rod just to pull it out away from that fence there so it doesn't get in the fence. Okay. And then comes down here. Um, just use these little 3 8 fiberglass posts in front of the fence. That wires, again, it's a little bit below my boot top. I'm going to call it about 10 inches. Don't get it too low. It could even be 12 inches. The, the more I have to go over it than under it. And if they go under it, they're going to push on that. And that's when that, that wire is good and tight. It's going to dig into their hide when they push up on it. You ever watch them go through a... a fence of a barbed wire fence or something they're they're pushing up on that barbed wire to get under it or through it and so we pull it hand tight and then put one of these daisy tighteners in it and just cinch it up a little bit and you don't have to get out your fence stretchers or come alongs or anything like that they don't work real good on a smooth wire now we will probably come in here and spray this fence line with uh, Roundup or or something to knock this grass back since it's already got ahead of us. Okay, and uh, show you these. This is the insulators we use now. It's the only ones we use. We tried different ones, and there's other good ones, but these are the W insulators, the Kiwi. W insulators, right? We get them from Kenco, um, but they've never failed us, okay? Don't use the little porcelain donuts or plastic donuts. They have failed us, they'll break in time. And so that's the ones we use. And we've made a kind of a makeshift gate here. Now we only use this because this gate doesn't really get used much, you know? It, an emergency or something might happen okay we would open that up we took a piece of high tensile fence kinked it just a high tensile wire kinked it to put some spring tension in it put a piece of insole tube for a handle and then just hooked it into that and so all that's really doing it's carrying the electricity across that area over to this stretch of fence here uh, okay so so it's pretty simple um, now that uh, we use this along just we're just about everywhere rented ground um, anything it doesn't cost much cost oh you can just kind of roughly figure it about eight to ten cents a foot to put this wire one one smooth wire that high tensile wire around your pasture and then you'll have to uh, buy a charger of course let's see that where well, the wire's two cents a foot and you're going to get about two cents in your post you put them around oh probably an average of 50 feet it'll vary it depends on your terrain and uh, so there's that's going to be about four cents and you might have another penny or two in uh, miscellaneous stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's probably only going to be around six cents. You might figure seven. You may figure ten if you got to buy a charger, depending on how fence you, long your fence is. So, uh, there you go. It's just a brief summary there of, our, of all our fencing, how we do it. And you can go back and look in some of those videos from uh, 2020. 
just praying um, that uh, I've got quite a few that show a little more detail. We all have a good afternoon. Hey, uh, one more thing. Uh, you know what? Uh, YouTube always reminds me to ha remind people to uh, push the like button, subscribe, and that's how they suggest more of these videos, I guess, to other people. And and uh, I, they remind me, and I forget to remind you. But uh, if you don't mind, I guess that's uh, appropriate thing to do. I don't know. I'm not making any money on these so far. I don't know why they care. But uh, so, anyways, if you don't mind, hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, put some in the comments. Maybe you got a video you'd like to see, or you got a question or something. All right. See you next time.